Hey friends, do me a favor. Take your finger right now. Go on that keyboard or that phone or whatnot and get ready to share. The messages that we need to uh, share with our friends, our technicians, shop owners, you know, anybody out there. And this is not just motorcycle. This is auto. It, it doesn't matter if you pick up tools and turn wrenches. So you ready? Here's a story. And please share this message. So I'm um, pulling up to an intersection and I see something shiny in the road and I see this. This is a lug nut off a more than likely semi or a tractor trailer or something. You can see it's pretty large in diameter. And the challenge I have and the reason I'm saying you should share this video is I want you to think about, you know, what your thoughts or what your opinions are. Should this ever fall off? This is laying in the road. This could go through someone's windshield. Uh, there's so many things that can go wrong with this. I mean, if what if it hits, you know, a motorcyclist going down the road? And this is a an absolute shrapnel weapon. Let alone, this is part of a package of assembly of lug nuts that if this one fell off, where are the chances the other ones could fall off? And then you end up in a situation like just since last week here, down Texas, a 23 year old man, I'll put links in the video below, this Bradley Berger, he, he's been on my mind a lot this week after reading a story about how two wheels came off a tractor trailer semi, struck him uh, and killed him on his motorcycle. I mean, just horrible, 23 years old way too soon to go in this life and you know and you got to ask yourself how do wheels fall off a semi you know i mean they just fall out of the sky and people say well nuts and bolts things come loose so i'm going to go back to that original challenge question of should these fall off and the reality is is that no but for these to not fall off we've got to do a couple of things we've got to use proper tools understanding we should uh, be torquing these in place and then the other big thing that causes parts to fail or fall off, how about maintenance schedules? These lug nuts typically don't tend to go past a long maintenance schedule because the tire will wear out. If you're not doing your own work, you're expecting shops to be able to do a quality job so that you don't have to worry about it. I can't stop thinking about that family and that, that young kid down in Texas that, uh, lost his life and I'm not even trying to pick blame or say that I know what happened in that situation but all I know is this wheels came off that semi struck him and he's no longer with us here I am in Iowa driving down the road and I see a lug nut sitting on the side of the road so some truck out there is missing this it's not good my friends so share this share this uh, all you out there you know follow my work you know that i tell my stories because of my my situation with my mom and so i just encourage you to pass this on don't be passive don't sit there and watch this go well that's a good idea get this into the hands of the people that need it most just encourage people uh give them that gift to think and pause and think about what they're doing there's another story recently here was uh in tennessee where a mom came out and found her son crushed under a car and, and uh, he passed away, 31 years old, way too young to be to be dying over such simple things that we could avoid. Using torque wrenches, following maintenance schedules, using safety equipment. Uh, any tech out there would be able to honestly say there's times you've cheated or taken a chance. And I'm not, I'm not a, you know, innocent in that either. But these stories really make me think and remind me, gosh, darn it, man, I, I've got to make sure that I cover myself in that area so I'm not part of one of those statistics. So be great, be awesome at what you do, whether it's just uh, changing a tire or you're uh, building an entire you know motorcycle or cool car or whatever. As always, make it a great day and uh, love for you to share my work at HowToWrench.com and, and uh, go out there and be impactful and spread a great message to save someone's life. Talk to you again soon, and as always, keep wrenching.